screen for us to help out for the easy transition mm -hmm. button. times over the years in college basketball in the last 20 games it's 17-3 Dean Smith and we asked Terry about that he said he won't miss Dean Dean will probably miss me I gave him a lot of his wins of course Dean has got a lot of wins from everybody too good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the University of Virginia and the University Hall for tonight's game between the visiting Tar Heels of North Carolina and your Virginia Cavaliers Now here are your starting lineups for tonight's game. First for the University of North Carolina's Tar Heels. At one forward, a 6'6 senior from Stanton, Virginia, number 22, Kevin Madden. At the other forward, a 6'7 junior from Nassau, the Bahamas, number 44, Rick Fox. At center, a 6'7 freshman from Roanoke, Virginia, number 34, George Lynch. At one guard, a 6'1 junior from Binghamton, New York, number 21, King Rice. At the other guard, a 6'4 sophomore from Burke, Virginia, number 40, Hubert Davis. Tar Heels are coached by Dean Smith.
scoring offense. Virginia second in the conference in scoring defense. Both teams have played well lately, but North Carolina has won 17 of the last 20 games in this series. Brian Stiff, the jump center against Kevin Matten. And North Carolina will control. This is King Rice. Fox for three. He can shoot that shot. The rebound goes to Anthony Oliver. A rebound very quickly for Virginia. Crotty for three. He has not shot well the last few games. And he's out here early today, as you know, Mike. Really wanted to perform well. Get going. Rebound to Virginia, Ted Jeffries. Another three-point effort, and Fox with a rebound. Out to King Rice. Pretty good tempo for the first 40 seconds. Straight up, man. Fox for three, and that's where we're tied. One of the things Terry Holland was concerned about was the outside shooting, if it would drag his defense out. Fox starts making those, it's going to be a problem. That's been Fox's strength this year. Wide open is Oliver as they move the ball well, but it's spun out on him. Madden with a rebound. Scott Williams not starting because of a sprained ankle, but he'll be in there. He'll be here shortly. Nice effort by Crotty to take it away from Rice. Crotty, a very emotional player and very talented in running the club. And I just think he's a prospect at the next level. All the guys talking about. Oliver, a sophomore out of Faison, North Carolina. Young ball club, and they've been getting better. They're pretty good in this building. Been terrific in this building. A straight up man. Of course, the concern of Virginia, the traps and how they cope with them. Kenny Turner looking inside. Brian Stith touches it for the first time and fires. Jeffrey's offensive rebound, but they'll get him for pushing off. All he had to do was stand there, Mike, but the tendency is to just shovel on that big wide body and there's the crew cut the, the, the GI look that's amazing Terry you know you, you can't find that butch wax anymore either that Blount that started it right because he said if uh, we beat Duke I'll try it he got he and his coach his little page did it he didn't have much air to begin with Rice underneath oh. where he normally doesn't go in missed the shot and the pattern has been when King Rice has played well, North Carolina has won. So far tonight, he's got a turnover and a missed layup. Crotty from way outside. Here comes Hubert Davis on the run to Fox for three. Got the walk, yeah. So the step in to space. West Carolina likes the open floor to get it going. And Virginia will take the opportunity break because Terry feels they need a lot of easy baskets. Consistent. 
Davis gives them the outside threat along with Fox, and here's the trap. And he slid the foot. It and worked. they forced Crotty into the walk. John Moreau right there, but on, in that particular situation, your post people have to flash and give you a passing lane. And the trap is something that really hasn't been too effective for Carolina this year. They're not quick enough That's to right. use it. The foot speed is not as good as Dean Smith has had over the years, but it still is disruptive as it was that sequence. Pete Chill cut into the game for the first time. Fox, nice pass. Davis forced it up. Little contact, no whistle. And they keep cutting, and they find the open guy. Crotty will try another three. That's what hard work will do for you, huh? And relaxing. 12-6. Versus his dad went to Carolina, and he said he spoke to him tonight. I'm sure he tried to relax him, get him into that comfort zone. He's got some talent. Scott Williams into the game, had the ball knocked away, stolen by Stiff. Knocked out of bounds. Who gets it? Virginia. We've got a timeout on the court. 15.43 to go first half. Cavaliers are hot early. Virginia with the early lead on North Carolina, 12-6. And this is the farewell tour for Terry Holland. It is 16 years, 320 victories. Only one of three ACC coaches with 300 wins. 12 postseason appearances. Before he came to Virginia, the Cavaliers had one 20-win season in 46 years. He's had eight. And they only had one winning season in 25 before he came here. He's going to be tough to replace as you look at the field goal percentage. Carolina's struggling. And, of course, Jim Copeland was going to wait till the end of the season. It may be longer if one of the coaches he's recruiting is in the NCAA. ACC basketball is going to miss Terry Holland, who become the athletic director of Davidson. He feels about the 1st of May. What a difference, huh, from the heat of the ACC to the sedate existence of an office. <laughs> very, Roddy looking inside. Very funny guy as well. You got to have a sense of humor to be willing to have that haircut. Uh, the haircut and play Dean Smith twice or three times a year, right? Says he hopes it's not the last time. Maybe in the ACC tournament, maybe in the NCAA tournament, they'll meet again. So the one thing that Dean Smith does, and uh, the, the reason Terry doesn't like playing, they make you change what you're trying to run. They've got hands. They take away passing lanes. They're creative defensively. Matt Blunden and Crotty working outside. Williams came all the way out to try to trap. Oliver. Two-point shot, had a toe on the line. It's 14-6. And Robo in the game has to get out on him quickly. Oh, great play by Stiff. Oliver beating Robo down court, lost it out of bounds. Foul on Heinrich, Henrik Robo. Not a bad foul either. Before he could get to the basket, there's a sad story there, Mike, as Dean mentioned to us. Rodel wanted to play tonight, even though he just found out that his grandmother in Germany died last night in her sleep. 77 years old. He's from Neuschenstamm, West Germany. And it takes a lot of character sure to do that. Sure does. Dean said he called home to wish a happy birthday to his sister and found out that sad information. Stiff with a lean-in. Chill cut with a rebound. Had it knocked away. But it's to the Cavaliers. They're going to have to get those second chances if they don't shoot the basketball well all evening. North Carolina has turned it over five times to only one for Virginia. 14-6 Cavaliers, 14-31 to go first half. Jeff Daniel, number 44, in for the first time. Another bomb, this time by Kenny Turner. Well, I guess the philosophy is to drill it from deep. Why go inside and compete? 17-6. Whistle and a foul away from the ball. It looks like holding on Jeff Daniel. Yeah, really not necessary. They were playing good D, but trying to be aggressive and bump people out from the box and essential against bigger teams. Ted Jeffries back in. Jeffries played behind Gerard Mustaf of Maryland in high school. Very inexperienced player. They think he has a load of potential, though. 
Rice to Rodel. Lynch, outstanding freshman, missed the shot. It's gonna be a great one. That's what he's got to improve, that open shot. Dean would like to play him outside next year. I think he's their best athlete by far, Bill. Sure is. Seen him do some extraordinary things as early as Maui at Thanksgiving. Look at this play. Good front. You don't get easy passing lanes. Kevin Madden and Jeff Denny will come in for the first time for North Carolina. Coach Dean here last year had a tough night, lost, and on the way home had a couple of smiling state troopers hand of a ticket. You wouldn't think you'd have to watch Richard Morgan get 39 points and then get a ticket on the way home on top of it. He thinks uh, so he set him up, huh? <laughs> well, again, the, the opportunity, Carolina not sealing off, and Virginia can be very tough in this building, and not rebound is going to cause problems and pain for Dean Smith. Foul was on Kevin Madden. We should talk about coaching records, and Dean Smith is on top of nearly every category you can find in the record book. A few against my against our club when I was coaching against me. He's got a few against everybody. He's just able. There's Phil Ford alongside him, Billy Guthridge. Billy coached with me down in Puerto Rico. And as I mentioned in the past, he still owes me for some Oreo cookies and some <laughs> milk when he stayed at my place. Very tight with a buck. Virginia has scored the last nine. There's Guthridge on the right of Dean Smith. Turned down many head coaching opportunities throughout his career to remain in North Carolina. Kenny Turner, an 85% free throw shooter, who's been on a tear in the last few ball games. Hits them both. Stiff will come out. Oliver back in, and it's 19-6, Virginia. A little pressure. They said they were going to mix it up. Some traps, some presses, some man, some zone. Denny to Madden, drops it off for Fox. Well, a lot of contact in the middle, no whistle. Blunden with a public mugging will pick up his second foul. Those football players, when they get a foul, they get their money's worth. They sure do. They're out there to bruise and bang. And I admire Dean Smith, though. Henrik Rodel not getting a lot of minutes, but right now trying to get his mind out of his difficulties with his grandma passing away and inserting him, making him a factor. Uh, a little touch of style, which he exudes year in and year out. Ever since he's been there, that's the, that's the word you can put on that program, style and class. That shot stopped a 10-0 run. Stops the bleeding. Because Carolina, if they make it, you might see a little more full court action. Both teams have gone heavily to their bench. Rodel played one year of high school ball in North Carolina and was the state high school player of the year in one ball as a sophomore. Billy Guthrie said it to me before the game, he's got to learn to shoot the ball a little better. Does a lot of the things that they enjoy in players. So he can contribute during his career. Full court pressure, Doug Smith, number 11, the freshman out of Fayetteville, Tennessee, now running the ball club. Oliver on a little backdoor cut and missed the shot. And Denny with a rebound. That's what you have to do, back cut the denial. Good feed by Denny down to Madden, who's playing the tendonitis in an ankle. Tipped outside, Denny came away with it, otherwise it was a breakaway layup for Virginia. Chill cut with a miss, nice rebound that time. To <laughs> he took Robles' head with him. Oliver passed on a wide open jumper that time, but Turner won't. He buries another three. <laughs> Kenny Turner has eight, and it's 22 8. 35% three point shooter, because he's had trouble with his knees his whole career. You don't shoot with the knees. Well, we told everybody Virginia was getting better. Well, they sure are impressive here. Rick Fox answers at the other end, makes it 22 to 10. Fox has five of Carolina's 10 points. Face guarding defensively, always trying to play the passing lane. Smith in trouble after picking up his dribble, but Stiff will get a 12-footer out of it. She'll cut with a rebound. Jeff Denny's one of those guys that you thought was just going to hang around the North Carolina program forever and not get a chance, but he worked and worked and worked, and Denny has really been able to contribute this year for the Tar Heels. Time out on the court, 11.52 to go, first half.
22-10, Virginia over North Carolina. 11.52 to go first half, Bill. Well, Terry Holland getting some outside scoring. Turner, we mentioned, shooting 35% coming into the basketball game. But the dribbling, pushing the defense in, the gambling defense, and look at this. Not a bad start. And what did they say? What did Terry say? They have uh, offensive help by committee. Exactly. Yeah. Here's the three-point story. Already 11 three-point field goals tried in the first eight minutes of the game. Crotty and Turner have hit two apiece for the Cavaliers. Now, Denny's here's the alley-oop to Madden. What a catch! King Rice with not the greatest looking pass no. in the world, but a great catch, as you said, by Madden. He was off the mark a little bit, huh? Oliver being guarded by Williams. So when you, your first logical man is usually taken away, everybody has to be alert to help the man with the basketball. Karate gets to the baseline, kicks it back to Jeffries. He doesn't look to shoot very much. Oliver from the outside. Nice job with ball reversal. Oliver has hit double figures in eight of nine home games. He really likes it here. Fox this. from outside. They're teeing it up deep. Jeffries with another rebound. Crotty on the run. Good job by Rice to get in front of him and force Crotty into the turnover. Well, Oliver was moving towards the baseline. Again, John trying to force the issue, which is fine, but under control, back it up and reset. So one thing, King Rice has come in for a lot of criticism because he hasn't uh, piled up the assist records or hasn't been able to score that well, but he plays hard at the other end of the court, too. And talking to Craig Littlepage, he thinks he's been steady. He thinks people have been tough on King Rice, particularly in their scouting. Williams with a turnaround jumper won't go, and Scott Williams has been a non-factor offensively in the first half. Well, he was your idea to stress in the open. Because <laughs> if he does get going, then you'll take the credit. Exactly. Now, here's the fronting position by Rice. Tough matchup that time with Stith. That's what makes Stith a, a terrific player. On the box, he's devastating. Of course, he can bring a bigger guy out deep. Jeffries will go out with 10.26 to go in the first half. Rice's foul was his first. Crotty pump fake on the three. Got, somebody's got to step two. See, the middle was wide open and nobody appeared. Nice pump fake by Oliver. Got his shot, won't go. Boy, George Lynch is a real battler underneath. Not all that big, but he'll fight you for it. And Bad nice. pass by Rice. You see Stith step in the passing lane, altered the pass selection. Heads up play. North Carolina has turned it over six times in the first 10 minutes. And Virginia has protected the ball very well. There's a little double up. They had problems with it earlier. It's up to the cutter to post up. Stiff walked. You can't cross over move anymore. Because years ago, they didn't have the mouthpiece. You could get away with it. <laughs> Stith only needs 44 points the rest of this year to become only the third sophomore in Virginia history to reach 1,000 points in his career. Ralph Sampson was the last to do that. And Scott Williams, who had a career-high 31 the last time he played the Cavaliers, gets his first two. Well, of any shortcoming to watch in Virginia, it's the inside people. Not real big, and obviously, each night they need somebody else to step forward. Exactly. Crotty for three. <laughs> this is the best shooting night John Crotty has had in three weeks. Uh, good for him. He's got a great kid, great career. 11 points and four rebounds in the first half. Williams with a runner and won't go. Crotty nice with another rebound. Turner with a tip to him. 27-14. Stiff for three. Oh, the place would have come down. The <laughs> roof would have cracked. Lynch is open, Rice doesn't get it to him, instead goes to Fox for three, and Rick Fox will hit the big shot for North Carolina he has all year long. Now that's just a little thing, but King Rice with the speed of the dribble, the defense collapses, you've got to stay up on Fox, the deep shooter. 27-17. London with Williams out on him. Nice interception by Fox, then almost threw it away. Lynch lost it. Bodies all over the floor. Oliver comes out. Crotty and Rice bang together. Indeed, imploring over there. Uh, John Crotty's got it going a little. Now he has to back it off just a little. 
get his club involved a little bit. He's got that confidence in his stroke and running the club. Turner goes out. Jeff Daniel is back in. Turner with eight points. And there's the backcourt score. Virginia over North Carolina. Of course, that's a that little deceptive. Either, right? It's a little deceptive because Fox is normally a guard and takes all his shots from outside. He lined up tonight as a forward. And also Carolina, very inside-oriented. Exactly. 27-19, Quaddy for three. Oh! He's got that funny rotation on his shot. It sort of spins sideways. Now Lynch and Crotty teed it up. This is why I think he's an NBA prospect. He is not afraid, and he's very physical. Crotty stepped in at the foul line. Lynch ran right over him. And Virginia having it all its own way. 30-19 with 7.55 to go first half. Karate has this stroke going, but the game is transition. Now you get back, get your head involved on the defensive end. If somebody's cutting, you step in, and eventually he drew the foul on Lynch at the other end. Karate, 14 points, five rebounds, and two assists. The scoring includes four three-pointers. Not a bad 12 minutes. I can see a little more anxious on the, op on the defensive end now. Carolina with a little double up. London gets it to Crotty. Last week, the first 32 minutes against Duke, he was held scoreless. It's been an up and down period for him, but maybe this will break that slump. Good job by Daniel presenting himself to the ball. Great move by Stiff. Foul on the way in. Almost had the chance for the three pointer. Oh. Chill cut got him on the wrist. This I, thought, kid can play. I thought he was going to finish it with a jam. I think he, he regrets not doing it. Yes, he can. Of course, when you can shoot, you draw the defense towards you. That's the ability to bounce by people. Rodel will come back in for Dean Smith, and Hubert Davis will get a breather. Because when you sign kids, you don't know how they're going to get involved in a program. And when he was a high school senior, he wrote a letter here to the team for to encourage them, which tells you a little bit about Brian Stitt. And as a sophomore, he has become the fourth leading scorer in the ACC. Georgia Tech with three in the top five, and that outstanding combination of theirs. But Stiff, fourth in the conference in free throw shooting, fourth in scoring, tenth in rebounding. Just a sensational season for him, and it's a 13-point lead for the Cavaliers. They're seven and two at home. They've beaten Duke and Georgia Tech here, so this shouldn't be a surprise. Passing game against the man-to-man. -man. A lot of motion. Harrison now at the point. Harris, the freshman out of Petersburg, Virginia. And the crowd was getting on him when he came out <laughs> before the game. We had to show him which way to the room. I, what I said to him, I hope you run the offense a little better. Yeah. <laughs> Harris with a leaning one-hander. Has his own rebound. Try it again. I uh, use the glass this time, huh? Here comes Crotty. Oliver. Good look to Stiff. Rodel from behind may have gotten a piece of it, but Blunden the rebound out to Crotty for three. A different team on the glass. The big difference. Five three-pointers for John Crotty. Draws the foul at the baseline. Blunden got it. I don't think he should have been down there, though. There wasn't much room for him. He's lucky he got away with it. But one thing about Dean's club, they'll run their passing game and get good shots. They won't rattle. So Virginia has to keep getting the opportunity break and challenging on the glass. Dean had a great line the other day when somebody asked him about Kansas. Of course, Roy Williams, his longtime assistant, is out there and runs the same kind of offense, same kind of program. And he said, the thing that bothers me is he's running our offense better than we are. Early in the year, he told me that I was in the Kansas State game. He said, they're flawless in their execution. Maybe he'll have him in for a little clinic when he's <laughs> Rice back in there. Moving in on the six-minute mark in the first half. Another foul away from the ball. And pushing inside on Daniel. That's his second. Well, they've got to get a better angle to get Williams the basketball. He's posting up now. Get that baseline pass. So Carolina can sneak back in it. Page standing up there. He got the hair dude. Page doesn't have much room for the hair dude, though, right? Well, the University of Pennsylvania.
WrestleMania. Steal by Stiff. He'll wait for help. Tried to get it to Daniel. Good play by Williams to come in behind. Well, they, Daniel's not the guy you want to get the ball to anyhow. No. He won't score down. What's he going to do with it? Rice on the drive, got caught up in the air, found Chilka. Put a little half court pressure there, maybe the, a double up. 35 21, Rice all over Crotty. Got it to Kirby. Now, this is the sensational athlete for this club. Crotty, stiff, air ball. The save to Rodel. Good play by Williams, really hustling hard. Rice. The Fox falling off balance, but a travel before that. Well, their philosophy showed itself there. Look up the floor, try and punish the opponent with a fast break. But King just got caught up. The 10th North Carolina turnover in the first half. Now, you forget how competitive Virginia is. I mean, they really do mix it up. They're not afraid because the foul was after the walk. Yeah. So that negates the play. I'm not so sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, Virginia is a physical team. I mean... They, they look like real nice kids, but yeah. they're going to like you when they get the shot. There, there have always been some guys on this team who would bust your chops just for the sheer enjoyment of it. Look at this passing lane play by Fox. They just create havoc. You've got to set your guy up. You have to back cut, and the next man has to show. That's the seventh turnover against the Cavaliers. Crotty will get a rest, and Smith will come back in. You just can't expect your point guard to go 20 minutes a half. It's impossible anymore. Not at this level. Of course, Terry realizes that. A little alley oop here. Nice perfect pass. pass that time by Rice, and Williams tipped it in. How about the soft touch by Scott? Williams is a, a sensational college player. What about his pro potential, Bill? How much you like him? Well, the, there really aren't a lot of good big guys. So, I mean, he's going to have a chance to be drafted and develop. You know, a lot of people didn't like Brad Darty either. Yeah. Soft. They soft. were wrong. So they, <laughs> the supposed experts. Smith double team picked up his dribble, got in trouble, somehow got it back, and then tried to make the no look pass and threw it off the hands of Ted Jeffries. 4.34 to go first half, 12 point Cavalier lead, and it has been Virginia all the way. They have done a great job with second chance points, and John Crotty has been sensational, while North Carolina has not done a good job of protecting the ball, and they haven't shot that well. There's that trap now, the bigness showing the last two trips as Oliver reaches in. Virginia cannot see over the two people pressing. It's gonna be a problem for them. They can't kill their dribble until they have somebody. Oliver picked up the foul, it's his first the 16 foul against Virginia. Now both teams have six. Will be in the bonus at the next opportunity. Carolina seems to have settled down a little bit here. Well, there, there's the key. Baseline bounce pass to Williams. He can be devastating. They have. And this has helped here. They've scored six straight points. Cut the lead to 10. Jeffries, stiff. Three for Bryant Stiff. Did you notice how hesitant Pete Chilcott was in coming out? Because he knows he can bounce by him. Two out of eight shots from the floor, but he has ten points. No question, the body. That's two on Jeffries. So Jeffries, Blunden, and Daniel, their power players inside, all have two first half fouls. That is some do. I bet he grows out a little longer when he gets to Davidson. <laughs> There's a great job at Davidson when he was down there. He's done magical things, I think, with the inside people. There's not a stand, you know, go-to guy. Sure. Each night he's feeling it. Striving to come up with somebody. Missed free throw, Blunden on the rebound. Terry said before the game that Blunden has played so well the last few ball games. Especially the last two scored 18 points and 16 rebounds. Like you've seen these two go at it for years. Terry's had the short end of it, but they've been very competitive, haven't they? There have been so many one-point games in this series, so many one-point heartbreakers that Virginia has lost. Smith with a miss. Almost the save by Oliver. Here good, comes Rice. Good checkout, too, Mike. Lynch. They 
they've cut the lead back to 11. Well, again, composure and confidence in that offense that if you cut and screen, you'll get the basketball. This team shoots outside more than any other Terry Holland team I can remember, except for the one individual of Richard Morgan who shot everything. Well, you notice that goal by Turner. Nobody was on the glass. If that doesn't go, it's a Carolina break. Two points for Kenny Turner on that shot, 40 to 27. They are really banging off. Nobody going up on George Lynch at all. Oliver will pick up another personal reaching in as Hubert Davis drove around him. Did you notice how affectionate the kids here were when George Lynch came out to shoot the basketball? Hollery Trader. Third goat, huh? Local product. Four Virginia players on the North Carolina roster. Virginia tonight, eight out of 12 three-pointers. The school record for three-pointers is nine, and we're not done with the first half yet. And they may get it soon. Of course, both clubs using the bench a little bit. Carolina, over the years, traditionally has done it. And of course, Terry with the foul problems and the speed of the game, too. Much quicker than I expected from Virginia. Me, too. And it's hot in this building tonight. Davis hits the free throw. Of course, very warm during the day, about 70 degrees down here in Charlottesville and hot in this building, so you need to substitute. Coming up at the half, all the scores and highlights from around the country. A look at Kimball and Gathers. What a duo. They are also Philly's gift for the LA area. Fox for three. Nice tip. Lynch kept it alive. Madden with a follow. Two strong major league traffic rebounds. 40 to 30, Carolina would like to get it under 10 before they go to the locker room. Crotty, nice anticipation by Davis, and Lynch, and makes the steal. Forced that one up, and Crotty has it. Pretty good D. Crotty, fouled on the way up. Reach in by Harris. And he was coming back to his side there, the left-hand side. Harris reached over, so he just waited, able to strip without the foul. Daniels will check back in for Terry Howard, and Blunden will go out. Think of the guards in this state, right? Ken Atkinson over at Richmond, Fess Irvin down with Lefty, and of course, yeah. Hood down there as well. Yeah, Steve Hood has had a great year. Bimbo Coles and yeah, Virginia Coles Tech. And, and of course, John Crotty. Extraordinary. Crotty missed the free throw. He won't miss many. 74.6% free throws for these. Just two tries tonight. Still has 17 points, five on three pointers. You know, when his dad played, St. Peter's Prep was a great driver. Of course, he was down there in Carolina. Frank didn't go to the Pines too much. With all the great starters he had. Brody has missed all three tries from the free throw line tonight. Madden. Fox for three. You can't leave him alone, but he missed that one. Madden gets the loose ball, scores, and he's fouled. And Daniels will pick up his third. Uh, Daniel was trying to back off and not give the foul, but that's the area of concern, and rightfully so, for Terry Holland. The Tar Heels crash, the glass, they're very confident, and obviously, I think the defensive philosophy helps them. They know if they go to the offensive glass, somebody's gonna peel off and protect the backcourt for them. Ted Jeffries, the freshman out of Bowie, Maryland, comes back in, and Daniel will sit down with his third person. Madden has struggled a little bit this year. His numbers are down, only averaging 9.8 points and a little less than five rebounds. Hits that free throw, and North Carolina has cut a big lead back to seven. We have a minute 33 to go, first half. At 42-35, Virginia over North Carolina. Cavaliers jumped out on top early, and the tempo, really not the kind of tempo you expect from Virginia if you watch them over the years, but it really served them well in the first half, and John Crotty was the guy who did the damage. Well, they told us they were going to look for those opportunity breaks, and of course, John Crotty in the open floor, he's going to get easier opportunities, but he's made the three, 17 points, what a half. I think he's back, would you say? I would think so. <laughs> of course, teeing it up here, we mentioned the ability to shoot deep, and, of course, getting back and contributing, it's a continual game. You can't stop. Now, Lynch is not his man, but he's helping out, doesn't give ground, and gets the basketball back for Virginia. Tough, gutty kid. 
Let's take a look at the rest of the first half stats. Both teams shooting under 50%. Very rare for a Carolina team, except for this year. They are under 50% for the season. Neither has done a very good job at the free throw line. Now, the rebound's a little deceptive because Virginia has done a great job with second half points. Oh, well, second chance points. Six rebounds each on the offensive glass, and yet Virginia has gotten 13 points. They've scored on each one of them. Sellout crowd here at University Hall, 8,864. They were here last year, of course, when North Carolina won only, or Virginia won for only the third time in 20 meetings between these two. There's a look at Terry. It was good to see Jim Copeland here. He's had a lot of phone calls, he said. Very busy man. A lot of people advising him who to select as the new coach at Virginia. Virginia starts with possession of the basketball and a seven-point lead. Oliver and Crotty, the guard. Uh -huh. Bad pass. Fox picks it up. Crotty tries to draw the charge and does. Now, I, I didn't like this call. A terrific rotation. The little relaxed 2-3 zone and all of a sudden a trap and then the step in by Fox. And John Crotty got away with one. Good reaction by him and a heady play, but just a little bit late. First foul on Fox, Dean Smith up to protest. And why not, huh? Little bang banger. Referees haven't shaken the relaxed state of halftime. <laughs> Something exciting like that, they're not ready for it. And the crowd saying, sit down, Dean. Uh, he'll remember that one for a while. He will, and he'll bring it up. So here's the same play, same trap and rotation. Turner to Oliver for three. Skiff with an offensive rebound. One thing about those long shots, you get a lot of big bounces off the rim. The long ones. Crotty for three. Look at this kick. That ties a Virginia team record, their ninth three-pointer. Crotty is six out of eight. Get it inside. Madden answers. All the composure again. They just know where to go. They're going to get a lot of answers down on the box, particularly with number 42, Scott Williams. They get him in the flow. Man to man. Madden leading North Carolina in scoring. He has 11. Karate on the move with a lean-in jumper. Doesn't get the roll that time. Jeffries. Shot doesn't go, but he will draw the foul inside. The freshman really battling on the board. Well, they've taken the three away in this case, so Karate uses the kiss shot. And again, the ability to get inside and compete. The kiss doesn't go, but Jeffries just can't get the correct English on this shot, but gets tagged and goes to the line. Scott Williams picks up the personal. Jeffries a 67% free throw shooter. All this young man needs is experience, according to Terry Holland, and he will be a quality player inside for the Cavaliers. Yeah, I read some comments by Morgan Newton on that. Same thing. The growth. The growth thing. I hate to see him out of the game, to be honest with you. I do, too. A marvelous job here over the years. People have been shocked with his teams coming into the final eight, the final four. Hey, he well, when he came here, everybody said there's no way you can recruit and be competitive in Virginia. Ooh. Not in the ACC, but he proved that's not true. And Virginia and the conference will miss Terry Holland. Foul away from the ball inside, and it looks like Jeffries, and it is. That will be his third. Yeah. Terry Holland doesn't have that much depth up front to get people in foul trouble. And he doesn't look like he's quite ready to retire with his activity on the sidelines. No. He's there. That's sitting in the rocking chair, yes. Show cut. They like that pass down low to Madden at the baseline. He has it knocked out of bounds. On well, the trap, he just couldn't get the vision to cross court the basketball. So good defense by Virginia. Fox, chill cut, Williams, Madden, and Rice start the second half for Dean Smith. Dean has a nice way of working the officials. Very selective, not random sampling. <laughs> selective opportunities. Madden, tough bounce pass opportunity, loose ball. Turner comes up with it, hands to Crotty. Virginia by eight with 18.23 to go in the game. Stiff for three. You can see that ability to drive, though, by Crotty. It just creates a little opening with the defensive man pinches, and he can hit. But it comes up empty, but it's not bad basketball. Virginia not getting many easy opportunities inside. 
Now you mentioned that they don't have that stud down there, that physical, terrific offensive player. And Stiff is usually playing against someone so much bigger than he is. Rice had it knocked away by Crowley. Good inside defense by Turner as well. Williams and Chilcutt. Fox way short on a baseline jumper. Virginia basketball. Turner for three. Boy, it's there tonight. That's a school record. Ten bombs. Well, the opportunity break was looked for. They pushed the defense back with the great use of the dribble. And goodness, are they banging home the threes. 48-37. Virginia's hit 10 out of 18 three-point shots. Nice look. Chill cut, pretty dump-off pass. Almost like a touch pass, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, the unselfish play, historically terrific inside passing by Carolina. Fourth foul on Jeffries. The freshman will have to sit down with seven minutes and 18 seconds to go. Well, the one guy, Bill Guthrie, said looking at games and tips, he thought Matt Blunden was a guy they had to be concerned with, so maybe he could step in for Terry and do a number. Jeffries has only been playing about half of each ball game so far during his freshman season. Madden's free throw cuts it to 10. And now to single digits. Of course, you mentioned Jeffries is around five points and almost five rebounds in those 20 minutes, so not bad production. Well, the numbers uh, project out rather well. Mm -hmm. Crotty trapped wherever he goes and had that ball knocked away. Good job. Rice with Oliver back. Uh, Chilcutt tries to follow tip and commits the foul. Well, Chilcutt really ran the floor well, but unfortunately for Carolina, the shove. But how about the trap in the corner and the giveaway by Lynch? I mean, that's been a problem for Virginia. They must see the trap coming to get rid of it. We'll try to check it for you. I guess we were misinformed that it was a uh, a school record, the 10 three-pointers. Now they tell us it's a season record. We'll check on that for you. At halftime, they told us nine three-pointers was a school record. Crotty brings it up. His team up by nine, 16, 52 to go in the game. with Fox all over him, and Fox makes the steal. And they'll call the foul on Stiff. I thought he was going to give up on it, not give up the foul. He wants it all. He wants it intentional. He wants a potential six-point trip. But Stiff really should have given up on it. And Virginia having problems when more than one blue shirt is around. They're giving it up too easily. I thought they, that was a little nickel dimer, huh? I thought so, too. Play on. Not much there. Fox with 12 points. That was the first foul on Stiff. Fox out of NASA. Not very much basketball experience. Of course, played in Indiana for a while, too. That's where he got it. Warsaw High School. It's a soccer player at home. Crotty, double team. They've got to beat the 10-second count and just do. See how prepared you have to be for Carolina, though. The mixed bag, the different looks, and the king. Too Powell close. King Rice. They may not have the quickness, but they're taught so well mm -hmm. that they run the defense beautifully, even though they may not have the physical ability to make it work better. Well, his strong suit is making sure you get in the right position, Mike, and I think that's what he does. Now, if they lack the foot speed or don't have the dexterity or agility, that's you know something that has shown at times this year. Crotty over Davis. London will not take that shot. Oliver will. Virginia has come out cold. They're a six-point lead. Now in jeopardy, Carolina with the ball. And being tagged a little better by Carolina. They're up on the shooters. Fox taking over a little bit. Rick Fox with 15 points in North Carolina on a 7-0 run. Well, I think John Crotty's going to have to do some things on his own. Like this? Well, that's a little deep. A little far. Turner with the offensive rebound. But as you know, that the long bounce favors the shooting team. Nice pass inside Stiff. 
No whistle, and Steph gets his own rebound. May have been an offensive foul as Williams stepped in, but good pursuit by Bryant. 50-44, Virginia by six. 15 and a half minutes to go in the game. Mike Patrick and Bill Raftery with you from Charlottesville. Oh, pretty pass by Rice to Williams. Sure was. Defense caught looking at the ball. Got to concentrate. Look between the two. Stiff trying to get inside. Somehow got it back. That should be an offensive foul, and it is. He lowered the shoulder and then leaned in, and that's the only call they can make. Well, he went to the well twice. He did it earlier. I tell you, a little upset. It's tough when you see it falling away from your grasp. He's got to pull them together. 15-14 to go in the game. The lead is down to four. Four-point lead. North Carolina trying to cut into it. They dominated the second half. That choke cut wide open and Steph finds Williams. Nice look. The man-to-man -man switch got confused. Again, interior passing. Scott Williams, who had 31 in the first meeting between the teams, has 10. This is the closest the game has been since we were tied at two. Oliver forced it. Did not get the roll, but will draw the foul from Scott Williams in second. Uh, King Rice really paying a close attention to John Crotty. If he's going to be a factor, once he gets it up, the going to have to wait to get it back to him. He's been going down and through and not touching it. Of course, Oliver that time is creative. Oliver only a 65% free throw shooter. Four points tonight. Checking Williams, he may be their best defensive inside player. Box off balance, oh. got the roll and drew the foul. What a shot! That was a set play. Oliver in a disadvantaged position as an off guard. You mentioned the size of Fox, not only the size but the strength. 
terrific post up. Foul on Oliver is third. Well, again, the recognition factor, too. That's what makes them so tough. You know, they're not a great Carolina team, but they're a knowledgeable Carolina team. Madden is back in. Williams, who missed practice yesterday because of a sprained ankle, will sit down along with Chilcutt. And Henrik Rodel is back in the game. Front court and back court scoring. And it's been front court for North Carolina tonight. 38 of their 54 points. This could cut the lead to one. As we mentioned, though, Terry was concerned about the inside people. And Carolina now using them. Crotty pushing it down court. Stiff has it down low. He's double teamed. Leans in, blocked from behind. Great play by George Lynch. A lot of people around. Lynch back at the other end. Off balance, and he hit it. We're tied at 56. He is going to be something. First tie since it was 2 2. Crotty, pass got loose, out of bounds, out to North Carolina. John didn't get it around to the wing to make that entry pass, and right now they're gonna have to regroup. Terry trying to settle his club down a little bit, but the defense has been the problem. And Ranger being demoralized because they had a 16-point lead at one time. Madden. Got the nice stroke, but he missed that one. Good balance. Crotty back to Stiff for three. These kids really utilize the dribble, though. They force everybody back. And when you can stroke it like Stiff, he is amazing. Low or outside, he's a great factor. Now we're told that is a school record. 11 three-pointers. Stiff with a dozen. Fox for three. Daniel had it, lost it to Madden. Two Virginia players playing together. Kept Rice for three. Wouldn't fall for it. Again, two Virginia players. Daniel and Oliver battled for it and lost it out of bounds. Too much of a good thing. Too many hands, huh? 11 minutes, 59 seconds to go. In the game from Charlottesville, Virginia is up by three. Williams and Fox have done the job inside for North Carolina. Now, bullies, they're not. Come on. Uh, Just tough inside post-up, people, but Fox able to drill outside, and Scott Williams quietly now assuming some inner strength, whether it's the alley-oop or the screens down low. Three-point Cavalier lead, 11.59 to go in the game. Chilka to Fox to King Rice. They'll let him alone from out there. He'll occasionally take the three. Williams, double team, knocked away and stolen. Blunden has it. Maybe triple team, Mike. Yeah. They're laying off in certain areas, particularly with Scott Williams out high, so Turner can get down and help out. This is Matt Blunden. Played so well the last couple of ball games. Out to Stiff. Crotty wants the ball back. And he trapped it from outside. And Lynch did not step up. Pretty good bounce back right now. Showed you something, didn't they, Virginia? Sure did. Kenny Turner with 13 points. Four from three-point range. Fox, a lot of contact, no whistle. Loose ball. Here comes Crotty. And Dean Smith really protesting the lack of a foul. Stiff for three. Fox. He'll try a three. Oh. Buried it. He hits the big shot. Boy, does they he. needed that badly, and he drilled it. Uh, and in traffic, too. Blunton almost got a piece of that. But how about the rebound by Lynch? Oh, yeah. A major lead. Rick Fox has 20 points. 62-59. That was really a six-point turnaround. If Stiff had been able to make his, it would have been a nine-point lead. How about this? A box of one, I think. Let's take a look. Box and one, yeah. the, the one is on Stiff. Stiff. Right, the King Rice. Turner for three. Yeah, 0 for 1 on the box. 
Rice. Straight down the lane. Nice scoop shot, King Rice. Got to stop the penetration. Terry and Craig Littlepage looking on. They got a little slapping of the ball. They're just saying, leave the basketball alone. But the King sneaks up on you, doesn't he? I mean, he's not looking for himself, but if you give him room, he'll take advantage. Two points tonight for King Rice, but eight assists. He's fifth in the ACC in the assist category. John uh, John Crotty is fourth, and that's Craig, Craig Littlepage you're getting a look at. He's played at Penn. Chuck Daly was down there, still an old assistant. Rutgers head coach here at Virginia a few years back as an assistant. Still a box of one. He can space the floor, he can reverse, he can find holes, get corner jumpers. And Crotty is going to look for one of those scenes and yeah. throws it away. One more bounce, he would have had something. Rice. This is Fox, back to Rice. Williams can't let him have it there. for the lead and didn't get it. That would have put North Carolina up. You'd settle for that shot, though, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah, every time. Turner for three. Huh. Well, they become fascinated by the long range shot. Well, the box of one, not good recognition by the outside people. You got to step up. Turner's been banging those. Turner has hit five three pointers, has 19 points. So alley -oop to Williams, and King Rice has hit four straight of them. And just a little bump, but London with the head down facing Williams never saw the flight of the ball. 65 63. I'm sorry, Mike, you gotta take the legs away from the guy. Stiff with Rice on top of him. Purple screen against the box. Crotty for three. Fox with a long rebound. Good outlet to Davis. Two on two. Tough pull-up jumper by Davis, and we're tied at 65. Boy, they become confident in their offensive approach, Carolina. Phil, they sure have. Oh. 8-19 to go in the game. They're trying to simply take Stiff away from Virginia. So you're going to have to beat me with Crotty and Kenny Turner. Now they've got 2-3 on it. Little change. Turner open for three again. Not this time. Fox to Rice. Davis on the wing. Fox nearly lost it. Carolina with a chance to take the lead. Virginia has dominated this game. But a great comeback. Nice chill cut. Knocked away by Turner. Stolen by Crotty. Oliver. Oh, got to make those. Oh, what a rebound by Williams. But he bounced the ball before he walked. Pretty heady play by Scott. That was his rebound no matter what. I don't care who else was in the area. Chris Oliver had that open 10-footer. Oh, does that hurt Virginia? Each shot gets bigger and bigger. 7-15 to go in the game. Hubert Davis to Williams. They've been able to get the ball where they want this half as Crotty gives it a little bang before the shot. And the motion has taken effect. It might be a tired Virginia team right now. It looks that way. And Rice will go to the free throw line, one of the best around, 79.8% shooter. And he'll get a chance to shoot the one and one when we come back. Tie game from Charlottesville, Virginia, North Carolina, 65 apiece, Bill. Mike, this has hurt them. They've got to switch this. See, Blunder gets a little bump from Fox. Well, the back man, Turner, has to talk and switch because they've been devastated by that little play. And here's a big-time rebound. You mentioned he wanted it, and nobody was going to take it away. A problem coming in for Terry Holland. Virginia wins this game. They can thank three-pointers. They've already hit 13 out of 27. Crotty, six. Turner five and stiff a pair. A little clear out for King, huh? Didn't take advantage of it. Goes to Fox instead. Hubert Davis for three. He buried it. Step up defensively, not there. You've got to know who can bang him. And obviously Fox and Hubert Davis can. North Carolina's biggest lead, 68-65. And it looks like the zone defense has helped North Carolina yeah, in this I, I think they're back into the box again now. He, the team's been pulling them all out. They've got their first lead. Oliver to tie with a three, and got it! <laughs> That's 14 of 28, three-point shooting. Couple of heavyweights going at one another. 
real sound basketball. Again, the fatigue problem, I think, defensively for Virginia. Got to reach back a little bit. 6-16 left. Another alley-oop. Madden this time blocked with oh. a foul on Stiff. Oh, that looked like a good oh, block. Oh, was that gorgeous. Great reaction. First, the snatch by Madden in traffic. Not too many guys can get this, but this is a beautiful, gorgeous block. Play but on. He did get him with the body, but that's after the block, and you almost have to call it incidental, you? Don't sound you sound like an official now. That's what they always <laughs> He got him down got low. Got him with the body. Right? I'd like to see him eliminate that. Anything below the hip is not a foul. Madden misses the first. Particularly on a block shot. It's always yeah. been a problem. They're going to bang by the direction they're both coming from. 15 points and four rebounds tonight for Kevin Madden. Carolina leads for the second time in the game, 69-68. Well, your partner, Dick Vitale, talks about the Duke fans. But this group is pretty wild here, aren't they? They get pretty fired up at University Hall. Oliver. Fox snatches the rebound. It's always nice to have a 6-7 guard who can go inside. I'll say. Davis with the drive. Short on the jumper. Lynch had the rebound. A foul underneath. He was fouled. I don't know if they give it to Turner, but you notice the defense drawn. They knew that time to go out on Hubert Davis. And, of course, all of that set up his baseline dribble and Lynch to be in position to get to the free throw line. Foul was on Kenny Turner. That's just his first. In case you're wondering, that is not Terry Holland's normal haircut. He did that on bet. <laughs> he lost it. Well, he really he won. Mind. They beat Duke. That's where it's a haircut. That's right. What he didn't mind. No chance on the three-point play, but the follow is good. George Lynch. Good activity. Madden down below. 2-3. Comes the trap. Oh. Roddy, great pass. Oh. Oh. Gorgeous look. And you have to know before you caught the ball where everybody is. You bet you do. Oh, very imaginative. Great court awareness by John Crotty. The lead is one. Well, Madden just cleared out Blunden. Then he missed the shot. Blunden really got whacked under there, and Madden was left wide open. Virginia covered up well on defense. Stiff wants it inside, gets it. Terrific footwork. They got the foul on Lynch, Mike. He can play that low post like some of the great centers. Yes, he can. Knows his way around. Third foul on Lynch. Scott Williams checks back in for North Carolina. Fox gets a breather. Lynch will come out. So will Madden. Dean Smith has done this uh, all of his 26 years. Well, he sells a lot of programs. Yeah. <laughs> it's your first time at a Carolina game. You better put that dollar up. Stiff tonight, 12 points, four rebounds. He's hit both of his free throws. Last seven games, he's been on fire for the Cavaliers. Missed the big free throw there. That would have tied it. Comes Rice with five minutes exactly to go in the game. Think of Williams on the box at some point. Hubert Davis didn't get the roll. Loose ball, Blunden. He and Scott Williams exchange a little bump. Pleasant trees. Done a good job taking away Crotty's initial penetration. Oliver, two-point shot, and a one-point Virginia lead. Oliver with 11 points. Dean Smith wants a timeout to talk about. 4:27 to go in the game from Charlottesville. It's Virginia by one. Virginia by one over North Carolina, 427 left in court. This is Terry Holland's last go-around. He'll be leaving next year to become the athletic director in Davidson. We asked him about some of the things he'll miss. Maybe Dean Smith? Uh, I can't say that uh, at this point I think about missing him. Maybe in the future I will. Uh, right now you're really just concentrating on getting ready for this game uh, and hoping it's not going to be the last time we meet him. I hope we'll see him in the, NC in the ACC tournament finals or maybe in the NCAA tournament. Dean Smith and Terry Holland. The one thing, Dean, Terry said he was uh, a little shocked by the question. He said, Dean is a guy that's going to miss me. <laughs> well, he's 17 in the last 20 games. They've had a nice 
relationship. And now a little nickel dimer. King Rice. I think John Crady got caught in traffic. Oh, they give it to uh, they Jeffries. Give it to Jeffries yeah. And he is gone yeah. with 416 left. Uh, John Crady trying to get through the traffic, but uh, Jeffries, he hasn't really been in the flow as we take a look at this. Uh, Rick Fox, 20.6 rebounds. He's really the main reason North Carolina has come back into this. And Virginia with 14 out of 29, three-point field goals. This is a bad break for Virginia because Jeffries just came back into the lineup, picks up a cheap foul and is gone. And depth is a problem up front for Terry Howard. They'll put Blunden back in there.
seven three-point field goals for John Crotty, and the lead is four. Another alley-oop that time. Blunden stopped it, but he'll get the foul, and he can't believe it. That's what I mentioned earlier, taking the legs out, Mike. That's what you he teach kids, and I thought it was a good play. I mean, otherwise, the terrific jumpers in the country are going to go off for the first time. It's up to a Bria coming out. Right here, Blunden underneath takes away Williams. I think that's either an over the top or let it go. Terry Holland now at the mic trying to get people to stop throwing the Bree. London picks up his third, and Terry will talk to the crowd here. People get so emotional about it, they don't realize they can hurt somebody by throwing things out on the floor. Well, they've stopped it. They're pretty upset. I did this one night, picked up the microphone, they started throwing more things. At you. Yeah, to get out. <laughs> I'm pretty well in control after the initial onslaught. One and one for Scott Williams. Missed another big one. That one just very short. Just hit the front of the rim. And a good job on the free throw miss by Virginia. They were ready. Checked and squeezed. Four-point lead in the basketball with 2.37 to go. Of course, you think of all the three-point shots people have hit tonight. Four points is not real safe. A tough match for Scott Williams. They, they got a foul on Fox underneath here. And the third was in the midst of a double dribble, too. You're holding foul away from the ball. Fox has fouled out six times this year. Really had foul problems, but only has two tonight. Well, that was a bailout. Carolina had a great defense. Stith will go to the line. That's Madden coming back in, and Chilcutt will come out. Stiff, the number four free throw shooter in the ACC, 81.9%. Two out of three tonight. And there is the team free throw score. Big one there. Mm -hmm. Well, they all are. And again, you've got to think of Carolina going low and then settling outside. Hubert Davis, obviously, a good stroker. So Terry has to prepare his club on that end. Double up on the low post and rotate back out on the shooter. Six-point lead. Stiff has 14. I think you got to go to Williams. Fox. Oh, what a touch. Has he really assumed the mantle of leader? What a different player from early in the year. Rick Fox with 22 points. Hey, nobody would have argued if he got a foul on that shot, too. No. Karate trying to work on the clock, if nothing else. Rice dogging him. 152 to go. Really put a match for Carolina. I think King Rice on Karate. You're switching the exchanges. Turner short on the three, and Williams with a rebound. Four point lead. Rice to Williams. This is Hubert Davis. Fox dumps it off. Davis, pretty scoop shot, wouldn't go for him. Madden with a loose ball. New shot clock, Davis. Oh, and what happened there is Anthony Oliver went out trying to challenge the shot. Davis alertly bounced it. 79-77, Virginia by two, only a minute 10 to go in this game. Big possession here. If they can run it and get a good one, and reset again, there's plenty of time. Karate had the three and passed on it. He wants a clear out. Yeah, well, he's, now they switch back. London attracting Williams. Shot clock for the Cavaliers at 16 seconds. Oh. Karate had it blocked. Knocked out of bounds, and we've got a foul. Hubert Davis commits the personal. What strength as he turned the corner. I think this just should have been Virginia's ball at the end of this. But Craddy, Craddy John with that strength now. He gets the shoulders down and through. Great reaction, and eventually there is a bump there caused by Fox. But I don't know if you noticed, when the ball was going out, Craddy moved so he wouldn't get hit with the ball. I think that's what caused the pain and the yeah. problem. Pretty smart, what do you think of it? Come on out here, okay? The trainer. That's the latest for personal problems. He initially appeared.
appeared to be in pain, but does not right now, but they're tending to him. And they say he meets the Raiders with that leg iced after every game, so it's been a problem for him. Now, if we're correct about this, the trainer, I don't know if this counts as the floor, but if, and Crotty, if it does, crotty has got to come out. Well, I, I think they're going to call the timeout. What are we looking at, John? Terry Holland cannot afford to have John Crotty off the floor no. if he's able to play. No, not at all. I mean, that was a major league burst to the basket, wasn't it? And you figured either he or Smith would do something. Virginia has scored 26 field goals tonight. 15 of them have been three-point field goals. Unbelievable. Well, they, they take an advantage when Carolina has laid back. And don't forget the ability to dribble, particularly by John Crotty. Push that defense back, and they've been able to dump out to the three. Let's take a look at the ACC stand and show you how critical this one is as Crotty is able to get to his feet. Duke which lost here last week in Charlottesville, eight and two. Then Clemson and Carolina both at six and three, and Terry Holland will call a timeout so he doesn't have to take Crotty out. Georgia Tech and NC State still in the running, tied with four. Virginia, certainly no threat to win the ACC, but they need some wins to make the NCAA tournament with a 14 and seven overall record. Maryland and then Wake Forest, probably the biggest disappointment in the ACC this year at 0-9. Maryland has been so close so many times and haven't been able to pull off the big win lately. University Hall, Charlottesville, Mike Patrick and Bill Raftery with you. Typical ACC action, Virginia leading North Carolina 79-77. Really, it looked like the Cavaliers had a chance for a blowout early, Bill. They were up by 16, but you know it never happened. We, we knew better, didn't we? Know. Well, the, the thing about the basketball tonight is it's been very physical and no nonsense, no woofing, no exchanges. They've just gone after one another. You mentioned the three points. How about Carolina's inside game? I mean, it's been terrific when they beat it. And, of course, Rick Fox taking some major league shots and converting. Fox has 22. He is the leading scorer for North Carolina. Madden has 16 and Williams 14. For Virginia, it's been John Crotty with 25, Turner with 19, Stiff has 14. So the guys you would expect to carry these clubs have done exactly that. Here is the situation. Crotty will go to the free throw line with Virginia up by two. He is an excellent free throw shooter, but he has missed all three tries tonight. Well, 75% pretty darn good. And as you mentioned, he's got to be tired. He's bothered by it because he just went down with the knee, so these are not easy free throws. Got the first one, clutch. Wow. Most guys that would keep him coaching that stroke, but not Terry, yeah? <laughs> Uh, this will make it a four-point game here. Short, but he got the roll. Four-point game. Carolina could not waste any time. Davis low to Williams, knocked away by Turner. That'll take some time off the clock. Good inside screen, but better defense by Virginia as Davis went low. Of course, score and timeout by Carolina. Get the defense set up. Oh, they fell asleep. Rice wide open, but Crotty came over and clobbered him, so he missed the shot. Great defense by Crotty after I think he went to sleep. Well, what happened, I think the referee handed the ball in quicker than That's the what Virginia team was set. And usually, it, it, it's, there's a little pace to it, and John Crotty now having a little dialogue. So Rice goes to the line, 79.8% free throw shooter. They love kids with the boxing. Yeah. I thought you had to care who they're played for with Friday at one end now, King Rice countering. This would cut it to two. Missed the second one. Three-point game and Turner is fouled. And now the parade to the free throw line will start. And Terry wants an attention. Well, either that or he's saying his suit is a little too large. <laughs> Can you help me with something a little smaller in the 42 suit regular? Doesn't, suit doesn't look good with a new haircut. <laughs> no, he wanted the intentional Very foul, good. so they just grabbed Turner. Which, of course, they did, but they made it look good. Of course, over the years, Steve Smith 
a magician at using the clock in these stages. I think he's taught the younger coaches how to do it, quite sure frankly. Is. He can make the last 30 seconds of a game an eternity, and it always seems to be to his advantage. Checking on the timeouts now. We've got him for three left, correct? Yep. Turner has hit both of his free throws tonight. Spun out on that one. Carolina can tie with a three-point shot. Dean gives them the signal for the bench for what's he, what he wants. Well, they've been inside screening for Williams. So they put a good job on Rick Fox, too. Huber Davis will go for the two, not the three. They've cut the lead to one, and there's the timeout with 12 seconds to go. I'm a little surprised, Bill. They're down by three. There's only 12 seconds left. I would have thought they needed the three. Well, I think they would have liked it if they got it or the quick low post one. But once you've made that decision and you got the open jumper, and then they can either the five-second violation, the quick giveaway. Right. And again, they pushed the ball up the floor so quickly, it wasn't as necessary as it may become. And, of course, only down by one. If you go to the immediate foul, and even if Virginia makes both still free throws, three, it's right. still a three-point game, and you get the ball back. And, and the other thing, too, the inside play, you might get the old traditional three. So yeah. I'm sure Terry Holland is now discussing exactly what he wants done as they make one or both, and what you want on defense. But the Uber Davis is just a swing. All of a sudden, offensive philosophy, he has developed into a terrific basketball player. Scott Williams, uh, a little bit handicapped for North Carolina. He has four personal fouls playing inside. Ted Jeffries has already fouled out for Virginia. 81-80. Again, the guys you might want to look to to shoot in this situation, Rick Fox with 22, and Hubert Davis who has got that good outside stroke. Once they get the ball back, assuming they will go for that immediate foul. And here's the situation, two timeouts apiece. Virginia with the possession arrow in its favor. We're in the bonus, and the Cavaliers with that sensational three-point shooting tonight. Full court press. Trying to get it to Crotty. Instead, the stiff, and Rice knocked it out of bounds. No time went off the clock. Karate has it inbounds, and he's fouled by Rodel. It'll be a one-and-one. One. Only two seconds. And you put the stress on the shooter. And Karate is the guy who was two out of five from the free throw line. Hit his last two, though. Madden comes back on. Ten seconds left. Coming up right after our telecast, 24th ranked St. John's against Seton Hall. Of course, the people here at University Hall Charlottesville holding their breath. They have seen North Carolina in this situation so many times over the year. <laughs> hey, we got him. We're up one. We get two free throws and something happened. We had it right there. What yeah. happened? And for North Carolina over the years, this is almost, well, we got him where we want him. We're behind and they got the ball. And a quick time now to put a little stress and strain on the shooter. I don't think it'll bother Karate. No, I don't either. The one thing, though, that Carolina, because of their philosophy over the years of pushing the ball up quickly, in these situations, you're not changing anything you've taught. So they get it up quickly. If you don't pressure them, they'll throw it to half court, bang it up, get the quick either three if it's necessary or the quick deuce. Let me raise the possibility, uh, if assuming Karate makes both free, free throws and he's an excellent shooter, it would be a three-point lead. I've heard a lot of coaches say, let's foul them before they get a shot so they can only go to the line for a one-and-one. One. Well, a lot of guys feel that way, but when you're in a situation, a lot of guys say, hey, if I foul him and he makes the three-and-one, you know, you're dead. So yeah, I, I really think what Carolina will try and do is push it as hard as they can and reverse the ball back or go to the box and throw it back out for the three. But uh, that's a, a heck of a gamble. When do you do it? You know, it's a... Uh, Interesting situation, unless they use the ball on the middle of the floor. But then right. again, you, you make the first, you miss the second one on purpose, and your big guy gets the rebound. Exactly. Once again. So, I mean, there's a lot of reasons for and against. So coaches can sit around and talk about this philosophically, but once you start to put it into practice... Well, they got the money on the yeah. line, they, might, they may not back up that initial bid. And when you have to go into the press conference afterward and justify what you did <laughs> to just give up a four- or five-point play. Well, at least two guys don't have to worry about that, right? One's That's retired right. and one's <laughs> an institution. Karate at the line with a one-point lead. Missed it. Loose ball. 
Virginia's got it with seven seconds to go. Turner has the ball. What a job inside to keep it alive. Absolutely, you must screen off. Because right now you'll see the quick giveaway. Do you believe that? <laughs> Virginia no. wants a timeout to talk about it now with seven seconds to go. Virginia misses the free throw. Carolina's got its opportunity with 10 seconds left and the Cavaliers battled inside, kept it alive and got the ball back. Seven seconds left, Virginia by one. Take a look at the free throw, Bill. See who kept it alive. Just terrific pursuit. I think London got a piece of it. Then it got into Turner's hand. Yeah. Just, well, that's the football in him going after it. And that's a big possession arrow change of events against Carolina. But now on the inbounds, Virginia obviously does not want a five-second violation. And then as soon as it comes in, you'll see a giveaway. Because then it puts it back on three, and Carolina can do some things. Virginia has missed two straight one-and-ones. Otherwise, they would have had a five-point lead at this point, and you could have backed up the bus. As it is, seven seconds left. They're only up by one, and Crotty has to get it inbound. And it's still had it knocked away by Rodel. It was off Virginia. What a big break. Oh. It was hit into Smith's hand. Whew. Once more, they'll try to inbound it. If they do, North Carolina has to foul and do immediately. They'll call it on Fox before Rice got there. If they had not called it on Fox, they may have called an intentional foul on Rice. It was close. They really banged some bodies. Stiff got come out of that. Five seconds left now. And Stiff will go to the free throw line. He's four out of five tonight, 14 points. Four rebounds. Williams is back in. Rodel. A lot of courage by the young man. His grandmother died last night in West Germany. He found out about it today. Told Dean Smith uh, he wanted to go ahead and play tonight. Stiff. Missed it. And North Carolina calls time with four seconds left. The front ends of three consecutive one and ones. The Cavaliers had a chance to put it away. They have, they have left North Carolina alive again. Carolina over the years has been like a vampire. If you have a chance <laughs> to drive a stake in its heart, you better do it or it's going to bite you on the neck. They're going to come back in, and, you know, the double up, Stiff came out of it frisky. He was hobbled, and you need your legs on free throws, and he really didn't get down and release the basketball. But they do kill you when you don't nail the free throws. Hope you have as much fun watching the St. John Seton Hall game with uh, Clark Kellogg and Tim Brando right after ours. It's been a ball here at Charlottesville. Virginia, if you joined us late, had as much as a 16-point lead in the first half. They have shot lights out from three-point range, but North Carolina just came out hot at the beginning of the second half and worked and worked and worked, mainly with their inside game and the outside shooting of Rick Fox, and got it back down to this point. Now, they'll have to go the length of the court, Bill, with yeah, four seconds. With no timeout, so what you do in practice is what you're going over now if you're Carolina. You have four-second plays, six-second plays. What you want, you, you'll look for some bumps, I would think. One pass, then another, and then the shot. That's all you have time for. So you may see a staggered look on the floor. You may see four across where they run the home run pass. So Virginia has to make sure they've got proper balance to try and keep the ball in front of them. Now, if they throw that long pass, the clock won't start until it's touched exactly. inbound. Now, Fox is deep. You might see him stepping and running. Madden is the trigger man. Williams, this is Fox. Williams at the buzzer. It's no good. Wow, what a play almost. Huh? Holy cow. They came so close. Maybe the last time Terry Holland will face Dean Smith in friendly competition. It is only the fourth time in the last 21 meetings that Virginia has beaten North Carolina. But a sweet one tonight for Terry Holland. His team wins its 15th. For Bill Raftery.